Hey everyone, it's Amy here and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys a love it or leave it review on a brand new limited edition highlighter from Becca and I'm sure we are all beyond excited for this baby. And this is the new Shimmering Skin Perfector Prismatic Amethyst. Oh my gosh, this could not be more perfect for me. I love purple shades when it comes to makeup. I don't know why, it's not my favorite color, but for some reason I'm obsessed with anything purple when it comes to cosmetics. Not to mention my birthday was just about a week ago, so amethyst is my birthstone, so I had to get this baby. So here's what the packaging looks like. Very similar to all the other ones, except for now we have a purple rem. And then you open it up, and here is what she looks like. Is she not the cutest? Like, I love it. I love, love, love it. So let me show you next to it, Rose Quartz. That was the one that came out right before this one a couple months ago. Because when you see them online, it looks very pinky. And it looks like it might be similar to Rose Quartz. Once I finally got it in person, I realized, okay, there are distinct differences. Like, perfect. Like, you can definitely see here's purple, here's pink. There's definitely a distinct difference between these two. Other than that, the size is the same. They're 7 grams. You get the same beautiful design, the same packaging, the same everything. Like, I love these. These are so luxurious. The packaging is beautiful. You get a decent size. Let me share with you guys some information from Sephora. Same cost, same size, $38 like the typical highlighters from Becca. Currently at the moment, it is only available for VIB and VIB Rouge members. This has been out for about a week or two already, so I imagine give it another week and then it's going to be available widely to everyone at Sephora. Like I said, it is limited edition and it is also exclusive to Sephora. So it says it's a creamy highlighting powder with duochrome pigments to impart a captivating light effect that transforms as you move. Achieve a sophisticated prismatic glow in any light with this limited edition shimmering skin perfector pressed highlighter. It's enriched with the color shifting pigments that reflect and refract light for a multifaceted holographic chameleon effect. Prismatic amethyst is infused with pale gold, violet, and rose pearls. See, that's where a little bit of that pinkiness that I saw came in. To create a unique iridescent sheen that shifts as you move. Now you guys can see, it kind of just, it catches all different lights. And then sometimes you see purple, sometimes you see more white, pink. Like, it's a beautiful holographic highlighter. But yet, the key with this one is it is so wearable. I find like this is still wearable for a professional environment. I may just not go quite as heavy handed, but I love it. It can be worn in a lot of different scenarios. It says, unlike traditional pressed powders, this one-of-a-kind formula blends pigments with liquids to create an unparalleled creamy feel that applies like a seamless silk and never cakes. It's perfect for highlighting or layering to create a truly unique glow. The result is a high shine, elegant shimmer finish that doesn't look glittery. So I will go ahead and swatch this for you. I will also swatch it next to the rose quartz one. That way you guys can see there is a difference. As well as, I will just talk about it right now, the only dupe I had in my collection was Urban a K Aura. I find that this one is the only kind of like purpley shift that is similar. The formula is not exactly the same, but I think this is the closest color I have in my collection. So I'm going to show you that side by side as well, just in case you guys have Aura and don't feel like you need this. But other than that, a lot of other purples or anything close to it in my collection just didn't quite compare like Aura does. So as far as the formula goes, same exact formula as all other Becca highlighters that we're used to. Creamy, buttery, very, very powdery, so this is not a product that you need to dig your brush in. You can use more of a loose, fluffy brush, fan brush, Morphe 501, intensify it like my Target Up and Up, or this is a dupe for the Anastasia Beverly Hills number 23, I believe. Any of these will work, but you don't need to like really scrub in there to get the product. You pretty much can just press your brush in there, wiggle a little, and you guys can see how much product you get right there. And I did not even dig my brush in there. So you can definitely really intensify these or you can make them a little bit more natural looking. You can also put your brush in here and then spray MAC Fix Plus on it, setting spray, whatever. Make it really, really wet and metallic and foiled looking. I also love how wearable it is. I'm someone that works in a professional environment personally, majority of the time. You know, 90% of the time I'm front facing with clients and I'm out at a client, like I can't be wearing highlight from the moon every day at my clients. I mean, I could, no one's gonna say anything, but it's kind of probably not what accountants do most of the time. So like for me, like I probably wanna go in as heavy handed on a daily basis, but I can still wear this to work. It's still like not too duochrome or holographic that it's unwearable. So a comparison would be like the Anastasia Beverly Hills Moonchild Glow Kit 
for me personally, or the Kat Von D holographic one, those were a little bit like too intense and a little bit too duochrome and very noticeable and kind of theatrical makeup for me, for my personal taste. So if you felt the same way, I find that this is a little bit more wearable than that. Not that there's anything wrong with those. Like if you love that makeup, you're still going to love this as well. But if you're looking for like kind of a duochrome effect like that, but a little bit more daytime, everyday business wearable, this is going to be perfect for you. So, so overall, not surprised. This is a love it, great quality, same amazingness from Becca, just a new, beautiful, limited edition color. So definitely get your hands on it if you're interested in the next couple of weeks when it becomes widely available to everyone. So I hope you guys enjoyed the quick review and seeing some swatches of the new Becca Amethyst highlighter. If you did, give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe so you can stay tuned to all my upcoming videos, and I will see you guys very soon. Bye!